experimental designs for atomic weapons, but were unsure of their success. A joint task force was created to head out once again to the Pacific and procure the islands of Eniwetok, some 200 miles west of Bikini, where crossroads had been staged. In early November, the first construction crews arrived to strip the islands of vegetation, grade the land, and lay down tar and asphalt for roads. Within six months, construction crews erected temporary housing for the many scientists and military personnel required for sandstone. Perched atop 200-foot steel towers, the three devices utilized on sandstone employed new technology to double the explosive force of the bomb using the same amount of plutonium spent over Nagasaki. This technology met Department of Defense requirements for more efficient bombs and increased the ability to stockpile nuclear weapons. Remote controlled tanks, guided by helicopter, recovered fission samples near ground zero to measure the intense neutron and gamma radiation. Radiochemical analysis of the pulverized coral sand would yield secrets about the nuclear reaction and help in determining the efficiency of the new bomb designs. <laughs> 